think Emmett's going to play string horn. Uh, this might actually be Emmett by himself. Um, it's a recording session in 1956. Maybe familiar with the uh, the Newport 1956 Duke Ellington recording, that really famous Paul Gazzola solo. This was before that. This was when he was kind of looking to figure out if he could keep the band going, and that concert that came out of Newport propelled him forward. But he had this date with Rosemary Clooney, and she was uh, pregnant enough where she couldn't make the trip to New York on, a, on an airplane. So the band recorded all the tracks in January, and then Billy Strayhorn flew out to LA, and she recorded her vocal line on top of the band. Without anybody in the room with her, probably be a little strange. But um, if uh, if you're familiar with John Coltrane and a crazy harmonic landmine tune he wrote called Giant Steps, it's like a tour de force, a rite of passage in particular for saxophonists. I stay away from that song if I can. Um, It, it seems like that harmony just comes out of nowhere, like he just, one day, the, the gods descended upon him with this bit of knowledge. Well, there's this song called Hagman Miss Jones, which was Rogers and Hart, and it has a little taste of what Coltrane used. And then even before what Coltrane did, this next song called Blue Rose uses some of this um, very interesting harmony that Coltrane eventually latched onto. Uh, again, this is Blue Rose. I'm not sure who's going to play this. We all seem to want to improvise on this, so you might hear us all stretch out a little bit. <laughs> 